Okay guys, so in this video we're going to go ahead and install a new seat into our go-kart. Our old seat has definitely seen some better days. We've actually had some cracking here on the side and I went ahead and I got a fiberglass patch kit and I patched both sides here to give it a little more support. Um, if you can see that on both sides and it's actually held up pretty well as a matter of fact. But the reason we're changing this is because if you see down here in the bottom of the seat, you'll see this big old white mark and that's actually a big crack that's gone across the entire bottom of our seat. The last race we were in, we actually were following a guy and his motor mount fell off and we ran it over and I believe that's what actually caused this crack. I think the motor mount got tangled up underneath our go-kart and I believe that's where that crack came from. And we've, we've also got a ton of holes in here from all the weights that we've had to mount to this thing over the years. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the seat instead of trying to replace that crack down there at the bottom. So before we get too far into this, depending on the seat you buy, it may not wanna fit perfectly in your go-kart. So what you can do is you can actually grab a big pole. Uh, this is an old fence post and you can actually slide it into your go-kart and you can actually bend this side seat strut up or down depending on which way you were doing it. And you can do that to kind of help get your seat to fit in there properly. Another thing you can also do is you can grab a wrench and you can put your wrench over these tabs. You can bend them in, out, forward and back in order to make it so that your seat sits in here the way you need it to. Since I'm replacing this with the exact same seat we had before, I shouldn't need to do any of that. But I guess we'll see once we get into this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get like a two by four. I use a four foot level. And you're gonna wanna mount that up underneath the chassis like this so that when, once we slide the seat in here, we've got something that it can rest on so we don't end up mounting this thing below the, the rails of, of your chassis here. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get this zip tied up real quick to the bottom of the chassis here. And that's just gonna give us a nice secure base for us to rest our seat on while we're, we're marking our holes and getting this thing lined up where we need it. And fortunately for us, we were out at a, a national race a couple years ago and we were having some chassis issues and I actually had some guys come over that were real familiar with this, <clears throat> this type of chassis <clears throat> and they got our seat mounted I actually had it mounted a little too far forward and they, they, they helped us make those adjustments for us, which was real nice of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I get this mounted in the exact same spot we had it before. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that these tire apps are real nice and tight so it's not sagging when we put the seat in here. And your chassis is going to have a guide usually that's going to tell you where they recommend that you have your seat mounted. I went off that guide when I initially mounted this, so I thought my seat was in the correct spot, but those guys told me I had it a little too far forward and they moved it back for us, so we're going to we're going to do the same thing. So once you've got that mounted, what you can also do is I like to use a sprocket and I'll set a sprocket here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna raise my seat up ever so slightly above the bottom of these rails, just to give us a little more clearance underneath the go-kart. And what that's also gonna do is that's also gonna raise the, the center of gravity ever so slightly. Some guys will raise it higher than that. Some guys like to mount it to mid rail. I like to go just above the bottom of the rails with mine. And that's what those, those guys said that the height I had it mounted was fine. I just had it a little too far forward. So I'm just gonna set a sprocket there. And then what I'll do is I'll get our brand new seat. And I'm just gonna set our seat in here, right on top of there. 
And then what I'll do is I'll grab one of the weights that we use on the side of our go-kart and set it in here so this thing's not flopping around on me. Just like that. Just make sure that it looks good. Double check, triple check. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm gonna grab my tape measure and I'm going to measure from the front edge of my, my seat here to the front of the chassis. And we're gonna do that on both sides to make sure that we've got this where we need it. And that's actually pretty close. Just needs to go forward just a titch. So tap this forward just a titch. Good there. Go over to the other side. And we'll measure the same, same thing on the other side here. That needs, that needs to come forward as well. So we'll try to scoot this side forward. A little bit more. Once we get this side lined up, we'll obviously go double check the other side. Still a little bit more. Definitely take your time, because once we drill the holes, there's really no going back once you've drilled the holes. And you don't want to have to to round out the holes that you put in this thing so your seat's not sliding up and down as this chassis is twisting. That looks pretty good there. And then once you've got it somewhere where you think you're going to need it, you know, go ahead and stand behind the cart and just give it a visual check to make sure it's not tilted off to one side or the other. And that, that, that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to remeasure one last time before we mark these holes just to be sure. Okay, so I think we're good. So from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and get our Sharpie marker and we're just gonna mark right in the center of the support hole without moving our seat. We'll do that on both sides. So we know where to drill. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut the camera off. I'm gonna reposition everything, pull the seat out. And actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill both of these holes and then we'll put the seat back in the go-kart. We'll put our, our, our mounting uh, hardware in and then we'll do the two front holes. So let me uh, readjust the camera and get the drill ready and we'll pop these holes in. Okay guys, here we go. Let's get these holes drilled. So I'm actually gonna put a small hole, a pilot hole in first, um, just to make sure that the, my larger drill bit doesn't wander. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a, a pilot hole directly on the Sharpie mark that we put in. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll get my larger drill bit and we'll go ahead and get this hole drilled. Go to 
the other side. Put our pilot hole in. Okay. Simple as that. So let's readjust the camera back. You can see the two holes we got in there. Let's uh, readjust the camera and we'll get our hardware in and we'll get these top two uh, holes mounted to the go-kart. Okay guys, so here's the hardware we're going to use to mount these top two seat struts. And what I have here is just a bolt and a washer for the outside. And then I've got this larger washer that I put up against the seat here on the inside. And then we've got this kind of a countersunk washer that will go on the inside. So what I'll do is I'll line my big washer up on the inside of the seat strut like that. Put our bolt through, just like so. Throw our washer on there. our bolt on. We don't want to tighten that all the way up just yet and you'll notice this other side it's the same but it's also got this little spacer um, because that there's a slight gap um, in the width of uh, these seat struts versus the the size of the seat so I actually put the put the washer spacer on that side to kind of scoot the seat over this way because the motor sits over there so the more weight we can get offset off to the side from opposite the motor, the better. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing on this side. Get our washer and our spacer in. Just like that. And now we can probably go ahead and get the weight out of the seat. And what you'll notice is this still's got a little bit of movement. So it's not quite tightened down just yet. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double check my measurement just to make sure I didn't screw anything up when I drilled those holes. Looks good on that side. We're good on that side as well. Okay, so from here, there's actually two more mounting points that mount the front of the seat to the bottom of the chassis. And you're gonna need to get some sort of spacers because there's probably about, I don't know, an inch and a half gap between the bottom of the seat and those brackets. So what I like to do is I just grab a stack of washers. A lot of guys will use these type of spacers as well. I didn't have enough of these, so I just used these washers. And what I'm gonna do is I'll move the camera so you can see it, but I'm gonna find out how much width of a spacer I'm going to need to get from the, uh, the connecting point to the bottom of the seat before we drill those holes. And then what I'll do is I'll tape these up so that we can actually kind of temp them up in there and then we'll shine a light through the bottom so we can mark our holes to get these mounted into the right spot. So let me readjust the camera underneath so you can see what's going on here and we'll get these next two mounting spots both mounted. All right, so this is what we're looking at for these next two uh, mounting points is we've got to fill this gap here in between the, the strut and the seat here. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna grab the bolt I'm gonna put it through 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep stacking washers until I get up to the bottom of the seat. And then we're going to know how many washers we need to make this, to fill this gap. And once I get close, I actually have these two rubber spacers that I like to put at the very top. Looks like that's about close. Maybe one more silver washer. There we go. So that looks pretty good right there. Yeah, that looks real good. So that right there is gonna be the amount of spacers I'm gonna need on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and I'll go do the same on the other side. And then what I'll do is I'll tape this stack of washers together and then uh, We'll put both sides up under the go-kart. We'll pull out the four foot level so the seat sits on these and then we'll get our holes drilled. So let's go over to the other side and see if we can get that side lined up. And same thing, I'm just gonna put the bolt through and then just start stacking spacers on it. That right there looks like it'll be pretty good for this side. Okay. So I'm gonna pause the video for a minute while I get these taped up and then we'll get this propped up on these front spacers and then we'll get these holes drilled. Okay, so I've got the spacers taped up. I've gone ahead and I've removed the four foot level so now what I'm going to do is just tilt my seat up and have it rest down on top of these spacers. Just like so. Get my screw to make sure it's centered. Right there. We'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Hopefully without knocking the first side loose. There we go. 
So while those are just floating there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my flashlight and turn it on and shine it up through the bottom of the cart. so that we can go up above and see the holes we need to drill. Just make sure that that is still nice and square. show you the top real quick before we do the other side lift the camera up here and what you'll notice with the light shining up through the bottom I can see my hole that I need to get cut in there just like that okay so I'm gonna make sure the other side's square. I'm gonna change the camera angle so you guys can see where I mark these and then we'll get these drilled. All right, so we're ready to mark these holes. So what I'm gonna do is get my flashlight, shine it up through, and then put a dot right in the center. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Just like that. And now we can go ahead and remove our spacers. Get our weight out of here. And let's, uh, let's get these holes drilled. Same thing we did before, I'm gonna drill a little pilot hole. And then we'll drill the, the primary hole. So we'll go ahead and get our pilot hole drilled. Okay. Let's get that fiberglass out of the way. We'll grab our first spacer. Slide it back up under there. 
go ahead and get our bolt slid through. Just like that. Move over to the other side. Do the same thing. go okay guys so that's basically it short of going through putting nuts on the, the other side of these bolts and tightening everything down we're done our seats mounted so when you go to do this yourself make sure you jump online you find your setup guide for your chassis and you get your seat mounted as close to the recommended settings as possible and just also remember that if you raise the seat in your go-kart, that's going to raise the center of gravity. And if you lower the seat in your go-kart, that'll lower the center of gravity. One thing to also remember is when you're scaling your go-kart, if for whatever reason you've got too much weight in the rear or you've got too much weight in the front and you can't rearrange the, the weights that you're mounting to your go-kart around to compensate for that, you may need to scoot the seat forward or backward depending on, on the, the numbers you get while you got the card on the scale. But, um, but yeah, so just make sure when you do this, I'd suggest you drill pilot holes, make sure you cut clean holes, measure two, three times to make sure you have your seat in the, the correct spot and have a good time at the track. <laughs>